Hey everybody, Steve Gamash here with the Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. And what we have right now is the Chef Knives to Go six piece sharpening set. Uh, keep in mind that the particular stones in use can vary a little bit based on availability. Um, so there are have been some swaps over time. Uh, generally speaking, what this is comprised of is high quality, easy to use, quick sharpening or, you know, or quick cutting stones in a Kind of a low grit, a medium grit, and a fine grit. So those exact numbers, you know, stones can change a little bit. Uh, it also includes a, a sink uh, pad or a, kind of a stone holder that also has a lip on it so it'll catch liquid nicely. So this is a, a grippy stone holder for your countertop. And then it includes a hard felt deburring block that you can run your knife through uh, when you're done sharpening to take that any kind of wire edge you might have on there and clean it up a little bit. Some people use cork as well. Uh, this tends to work really well. People tend to like these a lot. So it's a hard felt deburring block. And then uh, it also includes a 140 grit uh, diamond plate, metal plate. So this is useful for flattening the stones themselves, as well as some uh, work if you've got some big time work to do on a really bad knife or knife in bad shape. You can do some work on this uh, metal plate as well and get started with some heavy duty metal removal to get to the next step. So those are the, the components of it. The, um, the stones that we've got in this kit are the Suihiro Serax uh, 320 grit. These are great stones. They cut fast. They don't take a huge time to soak. I'm not going to take these out of the packaging here, but um, so this is your 320 grit stone. Um, it comes with what is called a Nagura or kind of a cleaner. Some people like to use these, some people don't. It's basically just another chunk of stone that you can use to rub over the top and kind of clean the top off, although it does not flatten anything. So some people like to use these again, some people do not. Uh, the flattener, uh, again, as you use the stone, it's going to dish a little bit towards the middle or most people, it's kind of an oval in the middle. They start working that pretty hard. Some people, as, as you get to be a better sharpener, you can work the edges of the stone and kind of try to keep it level, but you'll end up with some dishing where the top is not completely flat and you can wet that down thoroughly and rinse while you go and, and use this, flip the stone back and forth a couple times, rotate it, and then you can use this plate to uh, do that. A really good trick on a stone is when it's dry, go ahead and just take a regular lead pencil and run diagonal marks all the way across there. Don't use pen, but just use regular lead pencil, diagonal marks all the way across, and then as you flatten, you'll see that go away, and it, it's really obvious then where you're still low, and you've got to keep going until you get that flat. But you'll do that on a dry stone, then wet it down thoroughly, and then do your flattening process. And uh, so periodically, you just want to do that with your stones. But these are very high quality stones. They're easy to use. They cut really well. Good kind of feedback on them. So they've got a 1000 grit here as well. That's your medium grit, uh, Suihiro Serac stone. And then the high stone that they've got in this kit is Suihiro as well. It's uh, what they call a Rika 5K or 5000 grit stone. And this stone is fabulous. It's, it's uh, softer than the other ones, but it it cuts like butter, as they say. It makes nice mud. It's just kind of smooth as velvet when you're sharpening knives, and it cuts pretty doggone fast as well. Uh, it's just a sweet, sweet stone. It's a, like Again, it's not as hard as these two, but for a, a high-grit stone, it's just awesome. It really creates a high polish, cuts quick. As I said, it's really smooth to use. Uh, this is um, an example. Their color might be a little different now, but this is my Rika 5K. A good trick for you so you don't lose track of which stone is what. Some stones have markings on the bottom that might tell you what they are or the side. Uh, I just take a Sharpie and just write on the edge of that stone what you got and now you know. So you don't have to do that again. Put that on each end and that'll tell you what you have. I usually do that on most any stone I've got and unless it's marked somehow where it's not going to wear off and that way you know exactly which stone you have. So easy trick. The stone holder is simply, it's got a nice uh, hook here or you know, hole where you can hang it if you want to, but it's basically just a nice grippy pad. It will get dirty as you start using the stone, so don't 
Don't get freaked out if it gets really dirty on you because it's going to. But pretty simple. You just set your stone on there and it, it does not really go anywhere on the countertop. Um, and do your thing. It'll hold some water. Then when you're done, you can dump it out, wipe it down really good, wash it out, wipe it down. And really easy to use. So it doesn't take much at all to use. I will say these Serac stones, what is kind of cool, uh, they do include in the Serac stones a kind of a mini stone holder. So they've got this little grippy holder that fits right on the bottom of the stone and sets on the countertop. So if you don't have anything else with you and you just have this in the box or out of the box, it just sets in there. And it's actually pretty doggone grippy. So this will work. It's kind of just built into what they give you right out of the package. So it works really, really well. So let's uh, kind of clean up here a little bit. Put this kind of back where we had it. And it was going in a different direction. But... So here's our 320 grit. Here's our 1000 grit. Here's our felt block. And our Rika 5K high grit stone and our 140 grit diamond plate for flattening or heavy duty metal removal. So that is the Chef Knives to Go six piece sharpening set in its current configuration.